Hello Virgo, I'm here to give you insight for the month of August. Alright, let me get situated here. My mic is all wacky. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see what's going on with you guys for the month of August. Okay. Let's see what the main energies are for Virgo. Main energies for Virgo in the month of August. So Virgo, I just did the Scorpio reading and you guys were coming up in the Scorpio reading. <laughs> Some of you guys. Uh, let's see here. Virgo, Virgo. Some of you guys could have Scorpio in your chart. Main energies for, for Virgo in the month of August. Main energies. What are the main energies for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Main energies for Virgo. Ooh. So the Three of Swords just popped out, but I'm not going to take it. So the Three of Swords difficulties exist to be surmounted. So some of you guys could have um, went through some very challenging, challenging times. Okay. Could be going through challenging times in August. Okay. This could have been in your past, of course. So let's see here. Main energies. Main energies. I was hearing disappointments as well, Virgo. I was hearing some of you could be disappointed in yourself for some reason. Okay. Virgo, Virgo. Let's go on with Virgo in the month of August. Month of August. Okay. Page of Swords. already shuffled and we just pull cards after that okay so page of swords page of swords so virgo some of you guys could be spying on someone okay you could be doing some research as well okay you could be studying something like studying a new topic but i definitely see spy energy so virgo you could be spying on someone or someone could be spying on you you know uh it could be tracking your social media um, it says when the student is ready, the master will appear. Okay. So when you're ready to learn your lesson for some of you, okay, then you will gain experience, gain wisdom. That's for some of you. Okay. Um, but I definitely do see that you're looking into something in the month of August. You could be looking into a solution, looking into other options in regards to work or it could be in regards to relationship, looking at different options. Okay. Um, but there is a strong um, spying energy. <laughs> someone that's spying on you or you're spying on someone else. Just trying to... Um, I was hearing tracking their whereabouts. Okay, Virgo. I feel like for some of you Virgos, this is somebody that's doing this to you. They're so worried about what you're doing, what you have going on and things like that. Um, I also see that the Page of Swords could represent a child. It could be an, an air sign child or uh, the, sun is a, the, the child doesn't have to be an air sign. They could have air sign energy. Okay, so it could be um, some concerns or focus on a child as well. <clears throat> okay, what else am I seeing here? Um, I don't know. I just see a lot of studying. Okay, learning a lot. You could be learning a lot about yourself, learning a lot about uh, your life, your situation, what you've been through, learn a lot about others. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. So I see that you're working very hard in the month of uh, August. Okay. I, I was hearing that you're working yourself to the bone. Okay. So working really hard, going above and beyond. Uh, even when you don't feel good, you're still working. You're still pushing forward. You're still overcoming. Okay. Um, I was hearing that you were focused on the small details when it comes to your work. So there could be a lot of small details concerning your work. <laughs> Maybe the type of work that you're in cause, causes you to look at the small details, um, which could be, 
excuse me, which can be somewhat tiresome. Okay, it can wear you out a bit. But I just see that uh, a lot of you just really focus on working really hard, creating a sense of stability for yourself. Okay. And I see here, until you try, this is what it says on here. Until you try, you don't know what you can do. Okay, so for some of you, you know, maybe you don't know your capabilities or your abilities and you won't know until you try. So it's a call for you to put the necessary work in. Okay, you're going to have to put in the sweat and tears. Okay, to achieve what it is that you're desiring, what you're wanting. Okay, I also see that some of you are already aware of this. And so <clears throat> you are putting in the work and you are manifesting your desires, you're materializing your desires. You're meeting your goals, okay? You're That's what you're focused on. You're not allowing anything to distract you from doing so, okay? Um, what else am I seeing here? I was hearing that somebody's trying to paint a picture of you, Virgo. Maybe somebody's trying to paint a picture of you, of who, of who you're really not. Like somebody's trying to say say that you're someone who you're really not they're trying to paint this picture okay maybe you're trying to paint a picture of yourself in some way you know maybe you want people to see you or perceive you in a certain way okay um some of you could be in an energy of um distraction Maybe even a little bit of stagnation. And this can just be a moment in time. It doesn't have to be for all of August. But it's just a call for you to get moving. This is like a kick in the ass for you. Okay. So get moving. Focus on your goals. Start putting action forward as well. The Tower card. Wow. And the Tower card came out in the Scorpio reading as well. So some major changes taking place, some sudden shocks. It says, what does not destroy me makes me stronger. So you could have went through some sudden shocks. This could have been recently. Uh, this could have been in the month of August or, you know, your recent past or your distant past, you know. <clears throat> um, and this sudden shock, this change that has taken place. Um, it has affected you, Virgo. It definitely has. Um, you were, I was hearing that for some of you, Virgos were second guessing yourself. There is an energy of not really, um, believing in yourself. Okay. That's for some of you, not all of you here. All right. I was hearing some type of collision. You could have had a collision. It could have been a car accident, some type of car accident, or it could have been like um, a collision with someone, bumping heads with someone. It's just a, a huge blow up. Okay. <clears throat> a sudden shock. Some truth being revealed here. I was hearing opening up a can of worms. So I feel like for some of you Virgos, this has taught you something for others of you. It's important that you allow this situation, this tower moment to teach you something. Understand that it didn't destroy you. It actually made you stronger. Okay. This tower moment here was just traumatic. It was heartbreaking. It was just unbearable here. Okay. It was a, a fucking blow to the gut okay you just like oh my goodness you know what I mean so very traumatic experience for some of you okay but understand what doesn't destroy you just what doesn't destroy you makes you stronger you have to also understand that sometimes people are destined to experience certain things it's just what it is <clears throat> I know I can say you know it's all about your thought and which it's all about your thoughts and what the type of thoughts you have affects your environment and that is true to a certain extent but sometimes people are destined to go through traumatic experience and destined to go through shit you know what I mean it's just life and life isn't a bed of roses and it's all about the type of response that we have 
okay but I do see this tower moment as a change okay major changes here too for some of you the nine of cups so some major changes when it came to okay I'm gonna pick this card up when it came to <coughs> your love life the Knight of Cups. You could have been dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Also the Tower card. You could have been dealing with an Aries. You also could have been dealing with a Scorpio as well. The Eight of Pentacles is Sun and Virgo. <clears throat> but you could have had some changes take place when it came to the Knight of Cups. All right. Um, it says there's nothing half so sweet in life as love's young dreams. So some of you could be desiring to be in a loving relationship, be in a relationship that um, is fruitful. Um, be in a relationship with someone that respects you, that honors you as well. You could be desiring that. Okay. I do see that after this tower moment, you are moving towards. A Knight of Cups person, okay, for some of you. This person here, this Knight of Cups person, I mean, they talk a good game. They know how to Rico Suave you, but it's just there is an energy for some of you. There is an energy of this person just giving their love to other people. It's like there's just an energy of you not being the only one. Okay, you could also be in this <laughs> Rico Suave energy. Okay, so just be really mindful of that. I see here that somebody has been hurt. Okay, emotionally. And so they're looking for love. I don't want to say in the wrong places. They could be looking for love, love in the wrong places or looking for love in every avenue. Okay, <clears throat> this is somebody who's been... Um, uh traumatized okay emotionally and this could represent you okay some of you virgos are now now that you've been in that traumatic experience now you're desiring love and something genuine genuine okay you're desiring love and something genuine okay um also there is an energy of being in a fantasy land a little bit when it comes to love and what that's supposed to look like and it's you know um, I don't know for some of you Virgos it's like love is the answer and it is I mean it is we should love everyone and we should respect everyone and just you know what I mean uh, that's just what we should do but it's just for some of you, it's like there. I was hearing spirit was telling me there's someone who is like damaged goods a little bit. They've been damaged, and so they're taking that damage shit and they're kind of bringing it into a new relationship. Or, or this is like a. It, it just seems like a rebound energy. It's like you haven't healed from all the trauma, and so now you're looking for something new, uh, someone to put a band aid on the wound, but you haven't really healed. It's like this is just an energy of that. So for some of you, it could be a call for you to continue to work on yourself. Okay, except that the trauma, the um, the discord, all of that energy. Understand that this experience here is meant to help you grow. <clears throat> it's meant to meant for you to gain wisdom as well. Okay understand that use this opportunity to heal okay not be so quick to jump into something new okay because I feel like some of you have been uh, done wrong and it's like now you're looking for new love <laughs> it's like you're new looking for something new you know and it's like you haven't done the healing work you haven't you haven't really done the work here okay that's for some of you, not all of you. This is not for every Virgo, okay? Um, what else am I seeing here? <clears throat> okay. 
Um, but yeah, I do see for some of you, some of you Virgos could be putting it into a connection with someone. Okay, I do see that. You know, it's just, I was hearing it's just not working out. Okay. The star. So this is healing. So good for you. Two number eights. Okay, Virgo, I see you're healing in the month of August. Good for you. So you're healing in the month of August after some traumatic experiences. I also see here, let me go back. I also see here after this traumatic experience, after the, this shape, uh, this shift, um, this change, I do see that there is someone here that is supportive. Okay, this could be a friend. This can be a, a brother or sister. <clears throat> it could really be anyone. Okay. All right. This is someone who's hearing you out. Okay, this could be the person you're with being very supportive. But going back to the star card, this is all about healing. This is the tower. The tower, after the, after the tower comes the star. So this is the calm after the storm and the chaos here. Okay, it says, if thou follow thy star, thou canst not fail of a glorious heaven. Okay, so it's kind of like uh, to thy own self to thine own self be true in a way. I kind of feel like that's very similar. Um, and this is following your truth. This is following thy star, following your North Star, okay? So that North Star can represent your goal, your heart's desires, your <clears throat> ambitions, your dreams, okay? So it's important that despite experiencing this traumatic tower moment the sudden change it's important that you don't lose sight of your vision or your dreams okay don't lose sight of what's important okay this is Aquarius energy so some of you could have Aquarius in your chart or dealing with an Aquarius okay What else am I seeing from the star card here? So this is, yeah, this is just definitely healing taking place. This is also um, getting in touch with your gifts and your talents here. The star card can also represent someone who's into astrology, someone who's an astrologer, um, someone who is a star, someone who is in the spotlight as well. So some of you Virgos could be in the spotlight. I know Beyonce is a... Uh, is a Virgo and she's in the spotlight and she's been in the media a lot and <clears throat> I've, I've seen that she's been getting some ridicule because of her lyrics and the song church girl and all this all this stuff okay so it could have been just her <laughs> you know doing her work and then dealing with some sudden shock some news just drama okay <clears throat> but you know here she is chilling with her man like I ain't worried about this shit <laughs> Like, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> and that could have been some of you guys, you know? Just like, I'm going to continue to follow my heart and follow my dreams. I'm not worried about the bullshit, okay? So I do see that for some of you guys, okay? I do see that. What else am I getting from the star? Huh. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Wow. Ten of Swords. So, Ten of Swords. Oh, gosh. So, I do see that um, you Virgos are encouraged to put an end to a certain mindset that you have. It could be self-sabotaging thoughts or it could just be you engaging in drama with other people. This Tower card can represent just you, you know, getting into it with other people, having a blow up, you know, just anger. Okay. So, I do see that you're encouraged to find peace. Okay, try not to engage in the negativity. And sometimes the trouble finds us. The drama finds us. And it's all about how we respond to that. So with the Ten of Swords, I see that it's really important that you don't engage in the negativity. You put an end to it. Okay, you nip it in the bud. For some of you, you may have a hard time doing that. You could be, you could have went through a very traumatic experience uh, chaotic experience major changes and you had a, a time where you were feeling peaceful and you're healing and focusing on you and here comes the damn ten of swords it's like what the fuck is this okay so 
You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is Sun and Gemini. So you definitely could have been dealing with a Gemini person. Um, but with this Ten of Swords, <clears throat> it's just an energy of self-sabotaging energy or just engaging in negativity with other people. So it's important that you choose your battles and choose not to engage. And also don't be the... I was hearing that some of you Virgos can be the aggressor sometimes. you could have been the aggressor so it's time for you to uh try your best not to be that aggressor try your best not to um engage in negativity okay so it's like an energy of like nitpicking like talking bad about somebody like oh my god like why are you wearing that old ass shirt like that shirt you look you know looks tore up like that can start a fight <laughs> you know sh shit like that i do see here some of you could be into it with um an aries or scorpio okay this could be somebody that you had a romantic connection with in the past it could be a baby mama baby daddy you don't have to have any kids with them at all but it's just um the energy of that okay it says those things that hurt instruct. Okay. I feel like some of you Virgos could have been holding on to a lot of pain. This trauma, this tower moment is still lingering. The tower card came out in the reading for you guys last month in July. So this energy is still lingering. A lot of you Virgos are holding on to this pain. This tower could have represented a sudden shock like i said or something being revealed the the fucking uh top being blown off okay something being revealed and it's like you're still holding on to it and so therefore that pain that trauma the memories are uh, instructing your um responses okay so you're acting out and responding in a certain way that's no longer serving you okay it could be really wearing you out and so it's really important in the month of august to release this to finally put this situation to sleep i'm not saying forget about what has happened but it's time to move on okay this is, it, there's no need to continue to hold on to the past the past does shape us the past does give us an opportunity to grow okay it teaches us as well. It's learning. Okay. Page of Swords. <sighs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I was hearing make love, not war. Okay. With the star card making love and then the tower being war. Okay. The Ten of Swords also talks about, you know, self-sabotaging thoughts. So you could have some very uh dense it could be even dark thoughts that you need to bring attention to okay the types of thoughts that you have you could be overly critical of yourself really hard on yourself maybe even hard on others too okay but the ten of swords is advising you to put an end to what no longer is serving you okay the pain that you've endured i'm not saying forget about it but this, it's time to heal Three of Cups, yes, because you deserve happiness and joy, all right? I feel like a lot of you Virgos are wanting to live your best life. Um, I was hearing I want to have all my kids together. So Virgo, some of you who have children, you could be desiring to have your all your children together. Maybe your children are older or maybe they're just not living with you or something. But there's just an energy of wanting to have your children together. Um, okay. Um, but three of cups, you know, it's happiness, it's joy, it's celebration. There is more to life than your situation. <clears throat> and, and, you know, I know some of you Virgos are going through something major. Okay. And it's kind of hard to shake off what you're going through. And it's, you know, it's hard to put on a happy face. I, I get that. Um, but for others of you, the other Virgos, um, there's so much to celebrate. You know, there's so much to celebrate in your life. And I feel like you, it's important that you start finding that. Like what makes you happy? 
It says those who bring sunshine into the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves. Okay. So it's really important that you try to find opportunities to laugh, to sing, to be happy, to be joyous. Like find opportunities to do that, especially in situations that can be uncomfortable, you know, find joy in those situations. I'm not saying laugh at a, at a serious situation, but try to find joy and happiness in a situation um, that may be uncomfortable, you know. And you can find joy and happiness by maybe connecting with others, okay? The Three of Cups, it could represent siblings. Maybe you're needing the support of your siblings in the month of August or you're getting support from your siblings, okay? I also see the Three of Cups as somebody who... Um, <clears throat> it's not just somebody it's, it's not a person but someone okay who um likes to party a lot and drink okay so just be mindful of that because that can be a recipe for disaster virgo i don't know if this is you or the other person but this is somebody who likes to party a lot who just likes to just they're kind of like a rolling stone a little bit okay and so when they drink you know, you start, <laughs> they start having flashbacks, okay, about what you said in 1982, <laughs> okay, or well, whenever that was, okay, and what you said in, in 99, I don't know, uh, but, <laughs> but I do see that, and all jokes aside, that's not healthy, that's not good, okay, that's for some of you, not all of you, not all uh, Virgos have a drinking problem, okay, but some are struggling with that. Okay, they use that to try to uh, um, deal with their depression, okay, or their anxiety. They drink to do to deal with this. But it's not helping. So, you got to find another coping skill. It could be doing research to find a coping skill. So, but yeah, going back to the Three of Cups, you know, find joy, find happiness, finding a happy medium, doing things that makes you happy and um makes you feel whole okay but a lot there's a lot of main a lot a main focus or a lot of focus on uh children like having your children together okay all right or siblings just desiring happiness wholeness Ten of Pentacles, okay, definitely talks about family here, okay, Ten of Pentacles, this is beautiful, so I do feel like a lot of you Virgos are going to be finding your happiness again in the month of August, you're going to be feeling more secure with your work, um, also feeling more secure in your environment, um, and your environment could just be your home life, you know, Um, what else am I seeing here? I do feel like you guys did go through a difficult time, but um, you have, I feel like you have the support that you need in the month of August. And I feel like it's through family members, it could be through colleagues. Okay. Um, all right. There's a strong support system here. All right. I also see here the Ten of Pentacles. It says, not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. So some of you Virgos could see having the house, the car, the luxuries, all of that, the material things that's actually happiness. And it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really not. It's just that's just an addition. You have to be happy with yourself. Okay. You have to love yourself. Most importantly, that's what the true abundance is. Okay, that's what real abundance is. And I know some of you do not want to hear that. <laughs> but I do feel like some of you constitute. Um, I don't know, I'm not saying it right. I see that a lot of you see um, having material things as happiness. 
makes you happy. I mean, in a way it does because you work really hard to um, obtain these things, but it's not, that's not the answer to everything. It's, it really isn't. So I was hearing that some of you Virgos have your priorities all effed up and you need to bring awareness to this and it's not all Virgos okay not all Virgos it's just some of you look at oh um, having this and having that that's gonna make me happy when I have you know what I mean no like <laughs> you should find happiness without those things I'm not saying you shouldn't you don't deserve those beautiful things those material things but there's more to life than just things Okay, um, I was also hearing that some of you Virgos could li like to show off a little bit, you know, this is what I got, this is what I got, you know, and you could be dying inside. It's like, you have all these beautiful things, right? You know, the nice house, the cars, the fucking the Versace, Gucci, Balenciaga, the, the McQueen, you got the labels, you got you got everything, okay? You got the Jag, you got, I mean, the Lambo, you got everything, right? But you're dying inside. <laughs> you're in the Ten of Swords. You're the Tower. You know what I mean? It's like there's more to life than the material things. It's really a call for you to get back in touch with who you are at your core. Loving yourself more. Okay? Seeing yourself as spiritually rich instead of like physically rich, right? Cause there's a lot of Virgos out there. I feel like they have everything they want, but it's like they're dying inside. They're just like they're empty, right? All right. And this might be a, a few Virgos I'm talking to who are watching me. This is not all the Virgos here, okay? But it's like there's your. It's like a, it's the energy of an empty vessel, okay? It's like you got the material things, but you're an empty vessel, okay? All right. But I do see finances for you as far as finances go in the month of august you are good as far as your finances go for some of you virgos for others of you there could be a little bit of a struggle okay you could be desiring for some support from like family or desiring um to have more of a stable uh career <clears throat> i do see that for some of you okay I do see that for some of you, your mind could get in the way, the way you think your beliefs could get in the way of achieving this abundance here. Okay, financial abundance. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, but I do see that financially, it's looking pretty good uh, in the month of August. Okay, your needs being met. Okay, your needs being met. I do see that your needs being met in the month of August. The Nine of Swords, Lord. And this was also in the Scorpio reading. Okay. So you can have a lot of concern, a lot of worry about your finances, or you have a lot of anxiety surrounding your relationship, your situation. You could just have just anxiety, period. Okay. You're constantly worrying all the time. And Virgo, you guys worry all the time. You guys are worry warts. A lot of energy, mental energy. Uh, energy here. So for some of you, it's going to be a call for you to find some research, some coping skills uh, to combat your anxiety. You may even need to reach out to someone, a professional to combat your anxiety. Uh, you also may ne need to look at like Reiki techniques <clears throat> to combat anxiety. There's a lot of uh, mental activity going on. And I feel like for some of you Virgos, you need to bring awareness to your mental health. Okay, the state of your mental health. Okay, uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. You can have a lot of anxiety about your family. Okay, just a lot of anxiety about your family. Okay, um, your legacy, what you've built. I feel like a lot of you Virgos have worked really hard to have what you have. Okay, you worked very hard and there could be some concern about this. Maybe you're concerned about losing this or maybe you're concerned on how to um, maybe there's concern about how to maintain these things that you have, you know. Um, what else am I seeing here? It says the longer we dwell on our misfortunes, the greater is their power to harm us. And so we're going back to that with the tower card here. 
holding on to your, the past, the trauma, everything that you've experienced. So the more you hold on to that Virgo, you can rest assured. You're, you're <laughs> I was hearing it's a crying shame. Okay, I just heard it's a crying shame. Virgo, you can rest assured that you're you're not going to be happy. If you continue to hold on to the misfortunes and everything that has happened to the past, that, that everything that has happened in the past, you know, the more you hang on to that, the more stressed you're going to be. The more wore down you're going to be. Because I feel like for some of you, you're worrying so much and the person that has uh, committed the offense against you, they're not worried about a damn thing. They're, they're just keeping it moving. And you should be doing the same. You know, but you are definitely focused on your misfortunes. Uh, some of you <clears throat> could have had your finances affected in the month of August. Everything that you've built. Okay, I was hearing that it's compromised. Okay, some of you could be losing it. You know, losing what you've had built. And this is not for all of you. And I'm, I don't mean to scare any of you or anything like that but I do see that some of you could be losing this losing this uh, stability or what you perceive as stability okay it could have been that somebody was providing for you or something like that and now that things had um, changed or shift or ended it's like well damn like what am I going to do now how am I going to be able to afford this lifestyle and this and that so it's a lot of worrying for some of you it could be a lot of worrying okay but it's important that you don't hang on to your misfortune misfortunes all right and I understand that you know, some of you could have experienced this misfortune in the month of August, you know, and so you're gonna, it's going to take some time for you to release this and heal from it. So I understand that. But for others of you, I really feel like this is like past experience stuff, you know, and it's like, it's time to start putting the work in to move forward. It's, it's time to start following your heart, your dreams, your aspirations, putting you first, loving yourself. Okay. Following your heart, doing the necessary work, healing as well. Five of Swords, wow. Conflict here. So, hmm. Five of Swords, oh my goodness. So, you could be in conflict with someone, okay? This could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could even be a Leo somebody with these energies it doesn't have to be these signs but um there's conflict here and it's not doing you any good the situation any good um some of you needed to stand up to a sibling or stand up to someone that was um trying to steal your joy I do see that and so you're needing to stand up for yourself so I can understand where the conflict is coming from but for others of you it's like you're dwelling so much on the past or dwelling on a situation that's no longer serving you and so therefore in return you're like it, it, there's conflict <laughs> okay so you could either be the one initiating this conflict or it could be the person that you're dealing with Okay, because you're holding on to so much. And so therefore, it's like when you see this person, it triggers you. That's what I see here. I also see the five of swords as maybe this is somebody that you're dealing with. They can stress you the fuck out. And you're just like tired of the conflict. You're just wore out. I also see here the ten of pentacles. Um, some of you married someone okay you could have even had a blended family with this person and you married this person you're like what the fuck did i get myself into like why in the fuck <laughs> why in the fuck did i marry this person like why because <laughs> all you guys do is fight that's what, that's what i see for some of you not all of you some of you okay um, but yeah, with the five of swords it could just be a call for you to stand up for yourself. Okay, so sometimes I go about pitying myself 
and all the time I am being carried on great winds across the sky. So a lot of you could be pitying yourself. Okay. And just being carried away with your thoughts and what you think is happening. And just, it's just, it's just a lot of mental conflict here. And it's not serving you. And it's actually getting in the way of your happiness. And for some of you, it's, it's, it could be getting in the way of you finding meaningful um, uh, love, true love. Okay. Because you're in the state of mind. So your state of mind is not serving you. Or the state of mind that people are putting you in. It's not serving you. <clears throat> and you know we can't blame everyone. Because I do see that there is someone here. That puts you in a state of mind of anxiety and distress and shit. Um, but I do see for, so for some of you. Um, you may be stronger than the other Virgos. Where you can say, you know what, I'm not going to engage in this bullshit. I'm just going to take the higher road. I'm not going to feed into this bullshit. I'm going to focus on my happiness, you know, and you keep it moving. So I do see some of you Virgos are stronger than others. Okay, but for others of you there, there is someone who puts you in that mindset. Okay. Um. And I also see that there's some of you who point the finger a lot, like you're pointing the finger, like it's this person's fault, but you had something to do with it as well. Like you had a choice. Okay. I do see here you had a choice. These are, this is for the person that's constantly like pointing the finger, but the other, but that person who's pointing the finger is like, they, <laughs> they could have did something. A long time ago about the situation they could have walked away they could have did something so they can't keep blaming the other person if they stayed there okay because I see somebody was dog walked like there was somebody who was dog the fuck out and it's like they <clears throat> they stuck around for it for whatever fucking reason for whatever maybe it was a benefit for them to stick around I, I don't know but I do see that okay Wow, so it's a lot going on Virgo <laughs> in the month of August. It seemed really scattered here. It's crazy um, Yeah, it's it's not about winning or losing I do see that for some of you it could be about winning and losing um, You could be trying to hold on to what Happiness is which really it's not really happiness. your happiness could be dealing with somebody who is constantly you know pollinating all the damn flowers okay <laughs> and the flowers being you know what i'm talking about okay and you're just trying to hang on to this person for for whatever reason i, I don't i don't know um okay and so you're like for it's like fighting for all costs okay some of you need to learn how to just walk away instead of just tr instead of fighting for something that doesn't make any sense okay and it's crazy because i said the same thing in a scorpio reading um i saw that someone was fighting for no reason like they were just fighting for something that doesn't make any sense it's like there was no reason to fight like why <clears throat> they're fighting for something that's like that doesn't make any sense and the example I gave, it could just be fighting for someone who is a dog, you know what I mean? <laughs> who's, who's, you know, not somebody that's commit, like the committed type, okay? All right. Yeah, there could also be like a third party situation going on here too. An energy like that. You could have been in a third party situation or you could have more than one person. This could be a polyamorous type deal going on here. It's not going to work. <laughs> Virgo, if you're trying this, it's not going to work. It's just, it's not. Like, it's just not. And I don't know if, it, it's, if it's because of you and your mindset or the people that you're trying to bring into this polyamorous type deal. I, I, it's just not working. This is not for all of you. This is for some of you. But it's just not going to work. Like, it's not. Okay. Um, but I, yeah, I do see here some of you um, Virgos are needing to stand up for yourself. You're in a situation that is no longer serving you, a situation that's not making you happy at all. It's time for you to make some changes. Okay. 
it's time for you to definitely make some changes here all right some of you could be uh, have a job that pays really well you know all your needs are met but it gives you fucking anxiety it's like what is the point right okay let's pick the sixth card for virgo damn this this reading is going way too long and it could be because my head is stuffy so i don't know Six card one two three four five six so this is the archangel oracle cards breathe just breathe archangel Raphael. take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns so you're definitely needing to release old patterns and you can definitely release old patterns by doing breath work okay so take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy to release old patterns these old patterns are no longer serving you virgo so uh it's definitely a call for you to bring awareness to this okay just like we were looking at the page of swords earlier it's about studying it's about doing research it's about learning as well okay it may be a call for you to learn from the old patterns okay what didn't work for me in the past okay because <laughs> i feel like some of you are doing the same thing some of you not all of you could be doing the same thing you know and it's not working you know doing the same thing and looking for different results and it's like no it's, it's not working so virgo this is the end of the reading please like share and subscribe and if you are interested in a reading with me feel free to send me a message to my website and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and god bless